Okay, so it's been about eight or nine months since Shannon Sharp left Undisputed to go to ESPN and join Stephen A. Smith and focus more on his two highly acclaimed podcasts in Nightcap and Club Shay Shay. And since that time, there have been startling numbers that have come up since Shannon's departure that reveal a different story about the changing landscape in the sports media world. It actually turns out that Unk was keeping Undisputed afloat during their partnership and that it wasn't all Skip Bayless. Anyways, I want you to briefly listen to this short clip of Dan Lebitard discussing this. I don't know if it's the greatest ego mistake I've seen in sports media, but Skip Bayless underestimating that he needed Shannon Sharp. Yes. For that show to be successful. Colossal mistake. That, well, but the yeah. numbers to got, so he they make the same amount of money, okay? And Skip Bayless, but but Stephen A. Smith also has a production company as part of what he's trying to build, which is going to be giant, I am sure. It's going to be powerful and impressive, whether he does it with ESPN or outside of ESPN, because Stephen A. Smith wants to play with Tom Brady and, and Peyton Manning in the sphere of, I'm as big a star in sports right now as there is. I'm a media star, and I'm at my company, and I'm underpaid. And he's going to have power. He's going to have an ability to get power here, Stugatz, because he brought in Shannon Sharp too. He carried him over. Shannon Sharp was done, Stugatz. Like it was, he wasn't, he wasn't going to get back in the game. And now he's a giant on impact. And man, as soon as he arrives, and this this has been brutal to watch. I've hated this for him. The piranhas arrive and devour him and mock him and try to eat him up. And this man is so strong. Like, his story is so strong to come from the poverty he came from, a problem with a lisp, to being like a Hall of Fame loudmouth who now, you know, has two artificial hips but still wants to compete with everybody. And now can because he's got, he's got a giant valuable platform and he works so hard. So hard, Stugatz, and I can't help but be impressed that at the top of our game, what the people are consuming, the candy of what it is that we do, we're watching the end of Skip Bayless because his numbers, those numbers are so bad, Stugatz, we were doing twice those numbers on ESPN News. Like, he's coming to the end of his contract, and Nick Wright is here to have the money that Fox has to offer, and Colin Cowherd's going to be able to do whatever he wants with him and his company and Shannon Sharp. And they're going to compete at the top of the game, the sports media games and the athlete games at the top of the business. So earlier in March, there were reports that Undisputed's viewership fell to 50,000 viewers compared to that of First Take, which regularly does about 10 times that amount. Back when Skip and Shannon were a team, they were averaging about 160,000 viewers, so you can obviously see the sharp drop off. Skip has done whatever it took to replace Shannon by getting guys like Michael Irvin, Keyshawn Johnson, Richard Sherman, Rachel Nichols, and sometimes Little Wayne on the show, but those experiments have all failed pretty miserably. Which is kind of sad because Skip Bayless just seems to be reaching and trying new things to spice up his show to no avail. I mean the guy is getting rappers and comedians on the show, and while some segments have had some success, for the most part, it's pretty much failed. And new reports have emerged that Skip Bayless is now bringing on board Paul Pierce to join Undisputed. Honestly, this just feels like a desperate attempt by Skip to shake things up because nothing seems to be working. A lot of the reaction on social media hasn't been too kind, with many criticizing that they don't want to see the pair together and that wouldn't change anything in terms of viewership. I think Skip and Undisputed made a huge mistake getting rid of Shannon Sharp because he needed him more than the other way around. The numbers don't lie. On top of that, it's not just their plummeting in the ratings, but Undisputed is now lagging behind First Take, The Herd, and even Speak for Yourself, which is truly amazing. Speak was always by far the worst of the four shows under FS1's umbrella, and it just never popped off. However, Emmanuel Acho, LaShawn McCoy, and Joy Taylor appear to have found some chemistry boosting up their ratings. Also, there were some rumors after Shannon left that the show's producers wanted to maybe shift Nick Wright with Skip, but it's alleged that Skip maybe felt threatened by Nick and axed that deal. Nick Wright has been a rising star at FS1 and really grew first things first to its flagship show, so I could understand why he felt threatened. Anyways, what do you guys make of this new hiring of Paul Pierce? Do you think it's going to work, and how much longer does Skip have in the industry?